Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Movie Man Beyond. I'm uh, just about to go and see Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I, uh, I mean, expectations are so middle range. Um, see what it's like. I've heard that it's sort of a one that film, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I hope it's uh, pick up, picks up better than the last Marvel films, I would say. So yeah, I'll. Uh, See you guys when I come out, and then I'll post a full video when I get back home. Okay? Alright. See you soon, guys. So that's me, guys. I'm sat here waiting for Doctor Strange to start. And uh, Encanto's playing in the background, so. Must just be a Disney thing, I suppose. So. Okay. Let's do this. Right, I'm back. So, first off, I'll do non spoilers and then when I go into spoilers, I'll tell you I'm going to go. So, yeah, just got back from seeing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Um, I enjoyed it, yeah. They're uh, just, I don't know, it's like when you're trying to process everything that's went on, um, it's very, I'd say, it is different to what we used to. But that's not a bad thing, and it's still got sort of the typical Marvel formula. Yeah, uh, first off, I'm going to say the effects and the visuals are really, really um, nice. Uh, they look great. Uh, the Danny Elfman soundtrack can be a bit hit and miss because a lot of it does sound similar to more of his recent stuff, but it sort of worked fine. Um, the story was easy to follow. I, th I thought it was going to be a bit more complicated and intriguing than what it was, but it, it was sort of straightforward once you found out who the villain was. The actors and acting was all spot on. I can't say anything bad about it. Um, two hours was probably justifiable. Uh, I wouldn't say. If it needed to go any further than that, but yeah, uh, that's just off the top of my head. But now I'm gonna go spoilers. So if you do anything spoiled, then don't watch. Okay. <clears throat> so story-wise, find out that Scar, which was the villain, was actually a better idea than what I thought they were gonna do. I had heard that it was sort of like her movie as well but I didn't really understand that it, she was meant to be the villain I thought it was sort of like split between her and Doctor Strange but I'm glad that she was the actual villain so it made more sense and it was more enjoyable I think uh, that you had someone as powerful as her as the villain the film opens off with a bang Doctor Strange and America Chavez getting chased <clears throat> by a monster uh, so like I say the actions start straight away um, you see there's a fight in New York uh, it's pretty entertaining with Gargantuan though I can never pronounce his actual name and I always forget it it begins with Arm and Schwa I'll put the name down here below I'll probably put his face up here <laughs> whatever but yeah so yes um, once again, the story was easy to follow. Scarlet Witch is trying to steal American Chavez's powers so she can access multiverses anytime she wants because she wants to live in a multiverse where she has kids, the two boys from WandaVision. Now, I haven't watched WandaVision, but I'm assuming this is the family that you see in WandaVision. So, and it's the same multiverse, but you only really go into an one alpha multiverse. <coughs> which is also complete with the Illuminati, which is Captain Marvel, but not Brie Larson. Uh, John Kaczynski playing uh, Reed Richards, and Patrick Stewart playing Professor X. Uh, 
the from the Inhumans. I think it's called Black Bolt, the one that speaks and he can like rip your atoms to shreds. And Peggy Carter was um, Captain Britain, I think. So yeah, I mean they weren't they weren't really secret to be honest. I mean, I was surprised the drunkard since he was playing Reed Richards. I think that was probably the most surprising one. I thought they were going to have the original guy from the Fantastic Four movies from about 10 years ago, the Welsh actor. But there wasn't, like, there was rumours that Blade was going to turn up as he snipes. There was rumours that um, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine was going to turn up. Um, the other Spider-Man. The, uh, you know, different characters, like maybe it's Nicolas Cage. I mean, Tom Cruise was even rumoured to be on the Illuminati up on the four. I mean, people were, like, dissecting the trailers, and it's like, oh, look, that's Iron Man, you can see. So, <clears throat> there was Tom Cruise, if you don't know, was originally meant to play, he was signed on to play Iron Man before Robert Downey Jr., and he, Tom Cruise dropped out. Um, But there was this rumour that Tom Cruise was going to play uh, Iron Man in this version of, uh, in the multiverse of this version of Tony Stark. Which was not, it was the Captain Marvel. The, um, the lady that plays uh, 007 in No Time to Die. Yes. Uh, so that was, that didn't happen. Uh, there was no other villains that were like from other film, older films and stuff like that. The, I think, I think if you go into it expecting a lot of like massive surprises then yeah, I think you're going to be disappointed. So that's why I toned them down a bit. But I did I did kind of expect, you know, like, even like 30 seconds here, a minute there, or, you know, just popping up here, there, and all I mean, they've got the money, they could have done it. But they didn't, which, I don't know. Didn't really say affect the film, but <clears throat> they literally go through the multiverses once when he first flies into it and see it, like, helps American Chavez, like, escape Scarlet Witch. They go about maybe it's ten or fifteen, like a cartoon world, a world of paintings, uh, the Savage Land, um, futuristic, old, past, present, um, alien technology, just all sorts. Um, as for the fear-wise, it's definitely a Sam Raimi film. It's definitely an Evil Dead sort of Sam Raimi film. Uh, the visuals where it zooms up to the camera, and it's like. It always reminds us of Bruce Campbell. He's like, oh, and it zooms into his face. Uh, a lot of that stuff. Um, Scarlet Witch when she's crawling and stuff. It's very Evil Dead when she comes through the um, the gong in the temple. Uh, there was a lot of that that I could see. I was like, it's definitely Sam Raimi. Some of it I could see why they would see a horror element, but once again, it's a twelve. Um, some of the deaths are pretty cool. One skull, which just obliterates the Illuminati, like she snaps um, Xavier's neck. She um, disintegrates Reed Richards. She blows black. I think it's Black Bolt again. If sorry if I get it wrong. Um, black Bolt's head blows up um, up because uh, she dis his mouth disappears. She crushes Captain Marvel <clears throat> and Peggy Carter. She cuts him off with a shield. So. Um, yeah, very sort of graphic for Marvel film, but it's in no way near a horror film, so it's not. I can see some kids maybe a bit, ooh, but you're not going to see anything that you wouldn't see anyway. Uh, the, and like they say, the follow-up, or the follow-up with Doctor Strange and the end and how it comes about and he ends up using the book this dark book um, and it's what Scarlet Witch has been using and you know the old trope of I'll use it against you and he, you know it's the horror element he gets all these black souls and he, be, he brings a zombified version of himself to life and he's working vicariously through him and sort of defeats a little takes her down with American Travis's help but I thought that was cool but then, the end, after, like, you know, the end, 
Yeah. It's obviously there's bits I've missed. So obviously I was only see the once, but he ends up with a third eye. He's, he walks out of his uh, the San, uh, Sanctum Santorium in Bleecker Street. Just walking, got a shirt on, looks like he's going for a drink or something. And then he's like, ah, and he's screaming. And then the third eye opens up in his head. And then the after credits, that's like you say the film that ends. First after credits, he's walking again, looks like the same shot. And then Charlize Theron appears before him. And I like to know, see I know about comics, but I can't put my finger on who that character is. And I'll probably Google it and I'll sort of put down yeah who it is, if it's confirmed. But I didn't have a clue who that was and she, she says, oh, there's been a breach in the multiverse. Um, and are you just going to sit there help me? Are you too scared? And Doctor Strange turns, he gets his cl cl le uh, levitation cloak and he changes his outfit. And he's like, let's go. And then his third eye opens. And then right at the end credits, just daft. Uh, <laughs> uh, scene with Bruce Campbell from the uh, Evil Dead franchise. Now, Doctor Strange bumped into him early on in the film and he was rude so that strange made him like keep hitting himself for three weeks straight so at the end of the film it ends and then Bruce Cameron's like it's over it's over and then the, it, the film ends but um yes uh, it's it was better than what I thought it was going to be it's not great it's not fantastic you know we're not talking about the greatest comic book movie ever it's probably up there in terms of the Marvel films, um, it's definitely better, been better than the last few. B but it's different. Uh, I don't know where they're going to go from here. Uh, I sort of, I expect a new, uh, the new Avengers or something of that caliber. But they don't seem to be building towards anything yet. Like, uh, a bit lost to be honest. I'm sure they've got an idea. You know, they do have. <laughs> people have loads of money working for them and ideas spinning around so but yeah um, that was me taking it really uh, as a cinema experience there seem to be people on the phones again I mean it's been a while to be honest but uh, the Apple watches and stuff like that and people look at them and then they're pulling out the phones uh, I had someone FaceTiming before when the trailers were on and it was kind of like, she was looking around it was like, I'm not the arsehole, you're the arsehole. So, yeah, but that was it. I, for me personally, I would ban my wealth funds from the cinema. I think you should all have to give all that crap to the people before you go in and then that's it. Just, if you can't put your phone down for two hours to watch a movie, a new movie, you've paid for it. I don't understand. There was a woman checking her phone like every minute, time, time, time. Why? If you don't want to be here, just leave. It's like there's plenty of people in here that have paid to sit up, sit up, sit down, shut up, and watch a film. But no. We're a society, I suppose. It's, it's horrendous. I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. But um, yeah. Doctor Strange. In the Multiverse of Madness, if you've liked the previous Doctor Strange, you'll enjoy this. It's better than the last few Marvel movies if you don't like it, if you haven't liked them. So definitely check it out. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.